This is the Kaibab limestone, the uppermost layer in the Grand Canyon that makes the, the rim rock along the whole edge of both the south and north rim of the canyon. We'll take a few minutes to um, talk a little bit about the Kaibab limestone, kind of how to identify it, some of its characteristic features, and then also provide some geologic context for the environment in which it was deposited in and how different the world was uh, at the time it was deposited. Um, let's actually start with that. Let's actually start with sort of the, the big picture view. Um, I've got a printout here of uh, a paleo, paleo geographic map of the world uh, during the Permian. So the Kaibab limestone comes from a time period about about 270 million years ago. So this is pretty close to about that time frame. And what's interesting is at the time the Kaibab limestone was deposited, uh, the world was um, com was consisted of one big supercontinent, Pangaea. And so you have all the continents more or less merged together to form this big supercontinent. Um, this big uplifted mountain range here is where the modern or the modern Appalachians are today. And this occurred when this Southern Hemisphere continent, which is now like South America, Africa, India, Australia, and Antarctica, collided with North America and uplifted a huge Himalayan sized mountain range at the time. Um, so this was the, the, the setting in which the Permian uh, occurred. And you can also see here, getting a little bit closer, uh, so Western North America in this part of Arizona or the Grand Canyon region was kind of over here. So it was mainly a shallow tropical seaway on the edge of this big Pangean supercontinent and also at a latitude uh, along the equator. So it was a very tropical uh, location at the time. Um, so the Kaibab limestone is kind of a Kind of a dirty limestone. It's not not pure calcium carbonate. Most pure limestones are typically some shade of gray, uh, and it's more of a beige color. A little bit has uh, some sand in it. So if you think about this ocean lying on the edge of um, the continent at the time, and you had uh, rivers and streams feeding into the ocean, carrying sediment, you can imagine then how you might mix some sand and and mud and silt in with the the limestone itself. Um, one of the more characteristic things about the Kaibab is, we'll see if we can get up there, is it has these big kind of fist size rounded blobs of material called chert. And so if we kind of get up here a little further, you can see there's these kind of blobs of material that stick out a little bit. Let me get up here. There's a better one right here. Um, these are all just what we call chert nodules sticking out of the rock. And chert, there's a whole bed of it actually right here, um, this knobby stuff. And the chert is harder than the rest of the limestone, and that's why it sticks out in relief compared to the, the limestone itself. The chert is composed of silica, and so essentially the same stuff that forms quartz and so it's much more resistant limestones typically form in oceans let me jump back down here where we have um the little exoskeletons of marine microorganisms rain down on the seafloor and accumulate and those uh, organisms their exoskeletons are mainly made out of calcium carbonate or a mineral called calcite um, but there's also organisms that are made out of silica and that's part of what forms these chert beds in here. Another kind of zone right in here um, with some of these big blobs of chert kind of sticking out. And so that's some of the, the characteristic features here. Um, I didn't really scour this outcrop beforehand, but the Kaibab limestone, like most limestones, also has fossils in it. And if you see fossils in here, it should be more like um, little marine organisms like uh, clam type creatures called brachiopods, um, sometimes little kind of cone shaped things called horn corals, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll see if we can find a few in here. This might be part of a brachiopod right in here, that sort of thing. Morning. Morning. 
So this is the kaibab, this typical cream color layer. Um, it's important to kind of keep track of the rock layers when you're hiking because it kind of lets you know about where you are because you oftentimes can't see the rim of the canyon. So kaibab limestone from the Permian about 270 million years ago. And um, yeah, the chert nodules, the fossils, um, in the west here, limestones form cliffs because we have such a dry, arid climate. If you're in a more wet climate, like in the eastern U.S., limestones tend to get eroded and are, are not very resistant to weathering. So in the Grand Canyon, the sandstones and the limestones will tend to form a lot of the cliffs there. So nice little morning here at the Grand Canyon with the Kaibab limestone. <laughs>